congratulations, Wolverine Pathways graduating class of 2021. For the past three to six years, you have literally grown up before our eyes. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Many of you have stayed up late studying for your exams, reviewed flashcards to improve your scores on the SAT, responded to our surveys, and then our other surveys, and then our other surveys. You've taken our college classes, worked with our writing mentors, and probably wondered at times why in the world you're doing all this extra stuff with Pathways in the middle of Corona. But you've persisted. Your classmates and peers may not have understood why you would add an extra day to your already taxing academic week, but you knew that the experience, knowledge, and relationships gained would be well worth it. You were building a lifelong network of friends and future colleagues who know what it takes to be successful and who will do whatever it takes to get there. In the last year, your dedication was greatly tested. The pandemic, police violence against Black people, anti-immigrant rhetoric and policies, anti-Asian violence, and online school have taken a toll, often in very personal and sometimes in heartbreaking ways. Yet you demonstrated the strength and perseverance to show up to Wolverine Pathways week after week. With each hard-won opportunity, your family was by your side, getting you up, cheering you on, reminding you of your greatness. Your sacrifice and the love and support of your family has now paid off. You and your fellow Wolverine Pathways alumni share a unique experience that others may not understand, but that will set you apart from the many. You've been admitted to an extraordinary array of colleges and universities, and you're now about to take the next step in life's journey. So today, we are excited to celebrate you, what you've accomplished, and the role that your family has played in your success, especially during these unprecedented times. Thank you for trusting us. We are excited about your futures. And remember, once a Wolverine Pathways Scholar, always a Wolverine Pathways Scholar. Hello, Wolverine Pathway Scholars. Congratulations on graduating from high school and for completing six years as Wolverine Pathways' first cohort. What an achievement that is. Wolverine Pathways has been a crucial part of my academic life. I never thought I'd be a part of a life-changing college-bound program such as this. It has taught me the steps needed to become successful in college. Some of the highlights during my Wolverine Pathways experience have been the engineering summer program in 2019, studying at the School of Education, the assistance I received during the college application process, and even falling on academic probation temporarily, which taught me the importance of excelling in school. I really look forward to attending U of M Dearborn in the fall. I'm forever grateful for the lessons and opportunities I've been given these past six years. Thank you faculty members, support staff, and parents for guiding the class of 2021 to a strong and bright future. Once again, congratulations to the first Wolverine Pathways cohort for staying committed and determined throughout their whole high school journey. Go Blue! Hello everyone, my name is Ashley Lewis and I am a part of the Wolverine Pathways graduating class of 2021. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the entire Wolverine Pathways staff for their endless academic support. I'd also like to take this time to talk about the Wolverine Pathways Girls Who Code partnership. Girls Who Code is a one week summer intensive where gra graduate and undergraduate students at the University of Michigan show young girls like myself how to code. This program also featured women within the STEM field who talked about a typical day at work. This was a very beneficial program for me because at the end, I partnered along with another Wolverine Pathway Scholar were able to use the skills from coding to create a project that compared the data of movie critic website users to the actual movie critics. In the end, the results were found that movie critics and movie critic users actually have similar views when it comes to ratings on movies. This was very interesting and I would like to thank Wolverine Pathways for providing me with the opportunity 
to learn how to code because it also gave me insight as to what I would like to do when I grow up. Dear Wolverine Pathways, I want to thank you for guiding me through high school. I want to thank you for the friends I've made and the moments I'll never forget. I want to thank you for the educational winters and the memorable summers. The memory I'm most fond of is my trip to Barbados. I took countless photos and videos that I still scroll to today. I don't know how I could ever repay Wolverine Pathways, but I can promise I'll do my best in the next four years at Ann Arbor. I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm glad Wolverine Pathways has my back. Sincerely, Brendan Cameron, U of M Ann Arbor, Class of 2025. It's the brilliance for me. Your talent and ability are undeniable and we're on full display in good times and in trying times. It's the grind for me. Not only have you adapted to a completely new system of learning, but many of you have done so while participating in extracurricular activities, caring for loved ones, or even working a part-time job. It's the 2021 high school diploma for me. Through every obstacle, you persevered and earned it. It's the flexibility for me. You've been stressed and stretched, but you did not break. Continue to carry that with you into your future. It's the growth and the achievement for me. Watching you all through the years has truly been a joy. It's the commitment for me. You've been with us through countless program changes over the years, and through it all, you remain dedicated to the program. We appreciate your continued engagement. It's the perseverance for me. You all made it through a very difficult year and came out on top. We are all so proud. It's the joy for me. Seeing your smiles on Zoom and hearing the enthusiasm in your voices has brought joy in an otherwise difficult year. It's the individual and community dedication for me, engaging with programming early in the morning and joining us for late parent workshops. It's the excellence for me. You all have been and will continue to be models of excellence within your academic and personal lives. It's the maturity for me. I don't know many 13 to 15 year olds who would have chosen to invest in their education and futures the way you all have. It's the opportunity for me. I applaud you all for taking advantage of an incredible experience. It's the resilience for me. Through a global pandemic, you still made it through and are going to thrive wherever you go next. It's the determination for me. You've met your goals despite the odds. You all are amazing. Hello, my name is Robert Sellers and I'm Vice Provost and Chief Diversity Officer here at the University of Michigan. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the 2021 Wolverine Pathways Digital Graduation Celebration. Wolverine Pathways scholars, your journey has helped shape you as individuals and prepared you for the next phase of your academic lives. To complete the last two years of your high school careers in the midst of a worldwide pandemic is beyond amazing. Thriving and not just surviving this human tragedy has provided you with a reservoir of resilience and resourcefulness that will serve you well into the future. You're uniquely prepared to conquer new challenges, to develop new friendships, and to contribute to our society. Remember, it's your responsibility to use your many gifts and strengths, not only to succeed in whatever endeavor you choose, but to also make sure that you make a way for others to come after you because you are our future. So as we honor your achievements today, it's important that we also acknowledge that you did not achieve this accomplishment alone. Let us thank and congratulate your parents, family, friends, and teachers who've all supported you throughout your journey. As you celebrate your many achievements in the coming days, do not forget to tell them thank you. And finally, Wolverine Pathways Class of 2021, 
I extend my sincerest congratulations to you on completing this rigorous and rewarding program. You did it. I know that you'll continue to make us so very, very proud. And I wish you the very best and forever go blue. Hi everyone, my name is Wisdom Medino. Hope you are well and congratulations to WP class of 2021. We did it. We're at a time we wished for during those long nights and early mornings. We all wanted the best for each other and continue to put our best foot forward. Even when our plans went awry, we didn't fret because we embody perseverance. Doesn't matter if we didn't go a specific route, we're designing our own maps, creating our own paths in a way that takes time. Fortunately, slow and steady always wins the race. So cheers to new experiences. We wish each other well, plan study and chill dates, encourage strengthening our craft. Knowledge and power was ingrained in us since we were little kids. Learn to listen and apply good advice, guided by those who want the best for us. Mentorship led us here. So, cheers to them. We witnessed the unforgettable. Don't we have some interesting stories to tell? We chanted for justice, stayed at home for community, masked up for protection, checked in on one another, enlightened the uninformed, noted a blessing in disguise. Shout out to always expecting the unexpected. So, cheers to open mindedness. And with all that being said, we will walk in success, turn dreams into a reality, figure out our purpose, be the change we wish to see, heal from internal scars, share our marvelous journeys. We're destined for greatness, y'all. The next generation will have wonderful representation. So cheers to us. Hello, Wolverines. Uh, my name is Adrienne Marie Brown, and I am excited to get to speak with you today. Um, I'm a writer. I live in Detroit, and I am a Black queer feminist organizing activist facilitator, doula, auntie, magical unicorn witch extraordinaire. And I say all that because I'm 42, and I am so in love with my life. Um, so what I want to offer you is um, lessons that I have learned, things that I have lived that led to this moment of feeling so excited about life, so landed in myself. Even after a hard year, even in the midst of hard times, I feel incredibly on purpose and resourced and enlivened and excited about what is coming and what I can shape. Um, so first of all, congratulations uh, for making it this far in your life, in your education, um, and in your journey of what Bob Frissel calls being a spiritual being, having a human experience. Um, no teacher or mentor can teach you more than life itself. Gather the lessons that you need for your life um, from those who will help you see that your life is actually a practice ground for anything you believe and anything you want to be. Beware of any teachers or mentors who say that you remind them of their younger selves. You can never know how they actually feel about that past or what they might try to help you avoid that you actually need to go through in order to become yourself. Accept the guidance and the feedback of people who love themselves. Choose who you will belong to. Let them and let those relationships grow you up. While romance is wonderful, I'm recently engaged, I can attest, um, great friendship is actually more valuable and sustainable. So build friendship foundations under all of it, even your biggest love stories. Prioritize your time accordingly, right? Don't drop the people who hold you whenever something new comes along. Find ways to really let everyone know that you love them all the time. You will do almost everything you say I promise to never do, especially when you promise to never do them to someone who loves you. If you don't do exactly those things, it may be at a great cost to your destiny. 
It's in our design. You're not above it. So promise less. Promise to become yourself and nothing less. Most things you declare about yourself are aspirational. Just be and let yourself be experienced. Anytime you don't think you have enough time, track your time. Find out where you're wasting it and decide how much you care about your destiny. Is it your destiny more compelling than scrolling on the internet? More compelling than corresponding with people who annoy you and don't understand you? More compelling than reading circular news that is about things you're not gonna actually do anything about? Um, is your destiny more compelling than a mediocre, if delicious, television show? Um, is your destiny more compelling than obligatory relationships? We all need enough room to stare into space sometimes and enough time to integrate our lives. So it's not wasting time to daydream unless you never actually make those dreams manifest. Give yourself time to be. Read as much as you write. And by that, I mean read articles, read books, take in other forms of text like art and music, but also write as much as you read. Think, converse, create ideas as much as you scroll, right? Sometimes when life gets hard, you have to stay in and get shaped by it. And sometimes you have to go. And both moves will teach you the importance of themselves and the other. The other move, Yes, but also the other person or people that you might have to endure or abandon. You can't skip the hard parts of life and have any meaningful impact on the world. And while you're inside the hardest parts of your life, it may not feel like wisdom is being produced, but I promise you it is. Trust the part of people that doesn't follow through. <laughs> Let that um, experience and let the future expectations of those people, let it go, right? People do what they wanna do and you will not be able to force them to do other things, nor should you want to, nor should you let yourself be forced. When you don't follow through on stuff, it means you didn't wanna do that thing. So really tune into that, right? Don't live a life doing things you don't wanna do. Figure out what you wanna do and use every single opportunity to make the way for that thing. Trust the part of your body that is telling you it needs something to change. Your body is saying everything to you all the time. And you can know almost everything if you listen. You can know what you want and don't want, what you need and don't need, the kind of care you need to receive, the kind of capacity you have to give, how you actually think and feel about things. It's all in there. Pay attention. Your feelings are never more important than revolution. And your feelings are a crucial part of revolution. Find the balance and get to work. Don't ask mentors or teachers anything that you can find in a book or on the internet. Start conversations, start talking at the edge of what's already known. That's how you can get the most out of your own unique brain and mind and life experience in this world. Find the front lines of what needs to change in humanity within your own life and your own system and advance, evolve, and love yourself along the way for being part of the greatest purpose of our species, which is a liberated and liberating life. Again, huge congratulations to you. I hope this is of use to you. I'm proud of you. And I can't wait to see what you create in this world.
aren't seniors, you already know what time it is. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. G-O-O-D-J-O-B. Good job, good job. Remix. You know you did a good job, so say you did a good job. You know you did a good job, so say you did a good job. You did a good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. G-O-O-D-J-O-B. Good job.